Hello there. I'm gonna teach you how to make the top of this turret rotate on a specific axis location in Second Life. Uh, some people are wondering how to do that, so I'm gonna show you right here. We want to separate the top of this tank first. I usually go into wireframe or something, grab a bunch of stuff, go up to mesh. Uh, now select, select linked, that should grab everything you need, we want the top of that, and you hit P, and hit selection, and on the right there it'll add it to its own layer. Alright, now we want to separate the cannon as well, because we want the top of this turret to rotate like that, we want the cannon to rotate up and down. So we're going to separate the cannon next here. This is what it'll look like separated. We want a perfect rotation on this cylinder here. So we're gonna hit P, selection. Now that's separated. Uh, the next thing you want to do is we'll start with this. We want it to rotate perfectly where this cylinder is located. So we enter edit mode. Uh, Shift Alt to select all those faces around the cylinder so you can get the center point. Hit Shift C cursor to selected. Or Shift S, I mean. Shift S cursor to selected. And then we want to create, add a plane. And then hit S to size the plane up until the plane is. <clears throat> just outside the boundaries of the mesh that you're working with. And we don't need to worry about the uh, the left side and the right side, because those are perfectly symmetrical. What we need to uh, worry about is the front and back, because the front to back um, parameters are not symmetrical, and that's why it would not rotate on that cylinder until we do what I'm about to show you. And now we take this plane and we just use the edge grabber tool, grab one edge, hit S, zero, and then mesh, or no, select, linked, and then mesh, clean up, um, merge by distance. And that'll merge these two uh, vertices together. And then with the back one here, we do S0, and then you're done. You don't touch this one anymore. And what this does is this adds this bar directly in the center where that cylinder is located. And when this model is uploaded to Second Life, because you have that, uh, it uses the very outside parameters of the mesh in order to... Uh, tell the to tell Second Life where the root rotation has to be. So this will perfectly rotate on the center, even though it won't do it in here, unless I were to like select a specific vertices. And so we'll just do the same thing with this, except we're gonna need one that goes up and across. So we're just gonna hide this for now. Hide this for now. And we want to shift alt select these vertices to get the center of the cylinder. And then we want to add a plane again. Or wait, no. Shift S cursor to selected. Now we want to add a plane again. Size up the plane until it is outside of the forward cannon part. You just need to make sure the plane is bigger than the mesh. And then you edge select again, S0. And then we want to select linked and mesh cleanup merge by distance. And then just S0 and leave the other side alone. And now it will rotate perfectly up and down on there, but we also have some uh, asymmetrical geometry 
here too, so it won't rotate properly until we add a second uh, point of rotation. So we add a plane. We're going to rotate this plane 90 degrees so it's, uh, you know, bigger than the mesh in this direction this time. And all we have to do is S0, select length, merge by distance. I have those set to my quick favorites when I'm editing because it's just faster. You can do that by uh, right clicking anything and adding it to quick favorites and then you just hit Q to bring up quick favorites. You have different quick favorites depending on ed object mode or edit mode. So keep that in mind. So we're just going to do shift or S0 for that. We don't we only want to merge one. So there's three vertices. But since uh the vertices are overlapping, it can't create a face in second life, but it does create a point of rotation perfectly in the center of where you want it. So this is what you want the center of the rotation to look like, is this uh, cross, basically. And now it will rotate perfectly up and down on that axis point when it's in Second Life. And so those are done and ready to be uploaded to Second Life. The base, you don't need to worry about that because it doesn't need to rotate uh, any, way, any particular way. But the... Pop will rotate perfectly on the z-axis, and this will rotate perfectly on the x-axis. Actually, I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, because having your meshes face forward on the x-axis in Second Life makes things a whole lot easier for scripting. Uh, so you always want to make sure the forward-facing uh, just goes with this red arrow, basically, when you're uploading to Second Life. Just make sure of that. And then we export DAE, DAE Mesh, new hover tank, export. And it's ready to go into Second Life. All right, once you're ready to import the tank or whatever object you have into Second Life, you just go to Upload, Mesh Model, find the tank, new hover tank, Upload it. I don't need to worry about uh, upload parameters at the moment because I'm not even done with this model. But I'm just going to show you what the correct rotations look like once it's uploaded. So you grab this turret and then you grab the top of that and rotate them together. And you'll see that it is not rotating because edit axis at root. <laughs> okay, now it'll rotate properly. See that? Nice and smooth, right on the axis you want it. Perfect. And then let's say we rotate it like that. And now if we go, we're editing by local, I can rotate this straight up. And it is perfectly rotating as well. As needed. We don't want to rotate it too far that way because but that's a script. You'll have a script that will limit it from rotating down into the mesh. But yeah it uh, it rotates up and down perfectly how you need it. Uh, directly in the center there because of the cross we made. Yeah, there you go. Now you can rotate things. Yeah, good job. All right, I hope that helps.